All right, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Iron Angel here. I'm not even going to hold y'all up too long. I've been waiting for some gameplay of this new Saints Row game. If y'all seen my previous reaction to the game, you'd know this is one of my most anticipated games, this and Gotham Knights. I'm a huge Saints Row fan. So, yes, they rebooted the game, but it looks good. And I know those are trailers, but this is actual gameplay. So, shout out to IGN. They actually played the game. And, yeah, well, I'm about to get right into this. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm excited. Hopefully... I'm hoping it's the best. I, to be real, y'all, I hope this is the best Saints Row game ever. Every time a new one comes out, I'm, any game, I want it to be the best. Saints Row the Third is always my favorite for now, but I'm hoping the best for this one. August is almost here, so let's go ahead and get into it. Party's over, motherfucker. That one has to hurt. Having watched roughly 50 minutes of Saints Row gameplay, I'm encouraged by what I've seen. Volition's reboot of the series looks a lot of fun, filled with the wackiness, carnage, and what humor the heck? you'd Hold expect. Up. Did he just bounce, fly down, bounce off the guy, and it put him up in the air again? Watched roughly 50 minutes of Saints Row gameplay, I'm encouraged by what I've seen. Volition's reboot of the series looks a lot of fun, filled with the wackiness, carnage, what and humor heck? you'd expect. That's cool, it feels though. comfortably familiar, but with enough new ways to play to make it not just seem like a retread of what's come before, and promises to be a welcome throwback to an era when playful, urban, open-world games were a much more common occurrence. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people and I'm not going to be one of them. The first thing that caught my attention was the huge emphasis placed on customization. Yes, Everything yes, from your it. playable boss, a huge range of vehicles, arsenal of weaponry and your base can be tailored to your own designs. Car customization in particular looks substantial, with everything from paint jobs to neon underglows available. The character creator is also extensive, giving players the option to create just about anything human shaped their mind can imagine. You can, you can also you completely want, overhaul the look of your character at I any like the time. Robot Simply open the in-game phone app to perform the most advanced cosmetic surgery known to man. In a weird way, it reminded me of The Sims as you build a library of characters, True. each with their own backstory you've made up in your head to take control of. However, the setting is less SimCity and more Sin City. The world of Saints Row is a fictional depiction of the American Southwest and looks colourful and bustling with life. The main city of Santo Eliso, a well-observed riff on Reno, Nevada, is a perfect example of this as little vignettes play out as you stroll down the street. A band might start playing out of nowhere, or you may even decide to provide the music yourself by pulling out a guitar to entertain or annoy the locals. It's this mix of semi-realistic setting and knowing silliness that made the Saints Row games what they were. Yeah, like, Distinct like, sandboxes were a not- be for a good time. I know some people are taking this something too seriously. Oh, is this, oh, is this, oh, it's woke, oh, it has too much of this, too much, uh, whatever it is, it's too much of something every time, but it's really just to have a good, you know, do whatever you want, have a good time, I've always played that with Saints Row the 3rd and the 4th, I mean, think about it, look at Saints Row the 4th, whether if you liked it or not, you see how out of this world it was with the stuff they had in that game, it's meant for it, so yeah, when you get this game, just have, like, in my, like, you know, you can do whatever you want, but when you play this game, don't take it too seriously. Have a good time. Enjoy whatever the features is. I love the customization. Like, I love that in this game. Like, that, the, the, the brawl, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more that we haven't even seen yet. But the way that is, I love it. But anyway, let's get back into it. I'm sorry. I just had to say it. It's, when you see, like, when you see yourself playing with the guitar, it's meant to make you laugh, meant to have, have a good time. I mean, Saints Row the Third, it has some sweet action. But the goofiness, the out of this world silliness, some of the things that you do, you're like, what the heck? You don't see that in gaming, but it's fun. Market behavior is not only encouraged, it's often required. Tonally, Saints Row fits somewhere in between the second and third of the original series. Not quite as dark as two, but not as off the wall bonkers as the third. From the brief conversations I heard in cutscenes and the way the members of your gang spoke to one another, I was getting big Watch Dogs 2 vibes. Something I'm sure will split people, but as a big fan of Ubisoft's San Francisco based sequel, I found this encouraging. That said, Saints Row appears to offer a much more rural setting than you might expect. Large swaths of desert punctured with pockets of civilization fill the map. 
and it Which all looks pretty like good it. too, as dust and sand is kicked up into every cactus you fly by. These large open areas look set to be where Saints Row's vehicles shine, with fully revamped driving mechanics which borrow from familiar favourites. Games from the mid-2000s were never shy of taking successful gameplay quirks and dropping them into theirs, and that legacy continues here. Sideswiping into other cars conjures flashbacks of burnout on PS2, while ejecting from a speeding car, deploying a wingsuit oh and goodness, hijacking bro. another oh, is a sick. staple of just Excuse cause. Me, that's sick. I've even seen hints of a back to the again. future Hold that was sick. Burnout on PS2. While ejecting from a speeding car, deploying a wingsuit, <laughs> and hijacking is pretty, another cool. is a staple of Just Cause. I've even seen hints of a Back to the Future style hoverboard. One thing Saints Row has always benefited from is its vast range of unique weapons, yeah. and that's no different here. I've seen guns that shoot bullets through walls as if they're paper, finger guns that fire bullets from giant foam hands, and my favourite, the Thrustbuster, a throwable football that sticks onto enemies and vehicles, sending them flying in into the air before exploding oh goodness, into tiny bro. pieces. Every weapon, even the more sure conventional ones, weapon. have their own unlockable signature abilities too, such as turning a simple pistol into a quickfire machine pistol with the click of a button. As you'd expect, the action and violence is all very cartoony. It looks fluid too, and finishing mm. off an enemy with their own weapon before diving feet first into a nearby car for a quick escape, then climbing onto the roof to fend off chasers while <laughs> car cool. surfing, looks very slick. Enemies do look a bit bullet spongy, with some taking several shots in the head to take down, and it's often completely ridiculous, but that's always game. been part of Saints Row's charm. Where the fuck is Kevin? There appears to be a ton to unlock, such as special moves like the Pineapple Express, in which you shove a grenade into an enemy's mouth and launch them at one of their friends, as well as skills and perks that let you tailor your style further. There's real variety in the enemies too, with each rival gang having their own fighting styles, units and mini-bosses. From what I've seen, activities are pretty standard open world fare. Randomly generated discoveries, like blowing the doors off of an armoured van to get the cash inside, provide moments of distraction, plus there are more scripted side missions. Main missions are as you'd expect from an open world of this kind. A lot of car chases, firefights and the occasional big explosive moment. For example, borrowing a heavily weaponized helicopter to destroy a rival gang's facility before landing on the roof and infiltrating, further increasing right your grip on the city. Then there's the modes which abandon story in favour of pure fun. One of these is Mayhem, a mode where you cause as much damage as possible within a set time limit. Saints it's third. Saints Row in its purest form, and makes no apologies about it. Taking down other gangs looks like it'll take up most of your time in Saints Row though, as you gradually complete missions That's to increase mean. your I'm influence over the map. I'm taking my time when I play this game. I'm planning on having a, a walkthrough with this game, like a playthrough, but I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing to beat the game. By fulfilling the 14 separate business ventures available on your war table, each with their own series of objectives. New gameplay mechanics and modes, such as Saints Row Classic Insurance Fraud, and customization options unlock as you progress through these objectives too. There are also collectibles to find around the world too, some of which can be used to redecorate your church base, further driving home the point of Saints Row being full of character and encouraging you to stamp some of your own character on its world. There's a lot going on in Saints Row then, and all of it will be fully playable in drop-in and out co-op too. Whether it all comes together to make for a great time before its August 23rd release date is hard to know, especially as I'm yet to actually play it. From what I've seen so far though, I'm hopeful. Saints Row is looking like a fun throwback and finger guns crossed, it feels exactly like that. For more on Saints Row, check out our latest right, trailer yeah, of the I'm game and for everything else, stick with IGN. Alright, like I said, I'm looking forward to this. This, is just, this just looks like a straight up good time. You don't take it too seriously. Saints Row I've never taken seriously and it's not meant to be. Like, <laughs> that's why, like, all right, I got a question, actually. For the ones who are Grand Theft Auto fans, much love to you. Since there's another, I, I don't even know how you call it, they're re-releasing Grand Theft Auto V again, apparently, I heard on PlayStation. I don't understand. They just, every year, they're doing that. But anyway, I know some of y'all are sick of it. I've been seeing it on YouTube, on social media. A lot of people are sick of it. They're ready for Grand Theft Auto VI. Until that comes out, are y'all playing this? Because one thing I did hear a lot, especially during the Saints Row 4-3 uh, time, that there was a 
if you like Saints Row, then you don't like Grand Theft Auto. If you don't like Grand Theft Auto, you don't like. If you like Grand Theft Auto, you don't like Saints Row. I never understood why you couldn't like both. You know, I never understood. That. I never met one person either that liked both. Let me know in the comment section. Are you cool with both? I mean, because I mean, it's it's not to be taken seriously. Have a great time. Go crazy. Honestly, some of the stuff they have in here, I mean, Grand Theft Auto doesn't have like the stuff, the crazy things you do. Like you know how you just crash. What do you do? Uh, Crashed to his car, shot him up, then he used his wingsuit. You know, but there's things I bet that Grand Theft Auto has that Saints Row don't. I don't know. I don't play Grand Theft Auto. Not that I don't like it. I just, I've, I've always been on Saints Row, you know, and I'm too busy to play Grand Theft Auto right now. But let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Um, Like I said, it looks amazing. Honestly, it won't, until I play it, I won't know. But I'm going in with an open mind, you know. I'm not going to be nitpicking. Like, a lot of, you know, when this game first uh, was announced after the reveal trailer, people was complaining that uh, they removed the dildo swords. And people was not happy about that. They're like, oh, Saints Row's going to be bad, going to be terrible. They removed that. That's nitpicking. because it, If that's true, they removed that. So what? Oh, Okay. A dildo sword. I mean, you know, stuff like that. When you and if I was a if I was a creator of this game, if that's the best you got to complain about my game, I'm in a good position. That's how I feel. If that's the best you got, forget gameplay, forget the features and all that stuff. I just remove one thing. If that's all it was, I'm in a good place. And that's you know, as a play, guy who's playing the game as a fan of Saints Row, that's how I feel too. I'm like, man, if that's the best these people have to complain about the game and that is too woke i don't see it i really don't i mean the first trailer I, people was pointing out certain characters but i think that was just you know showing the lens of how you can create a character and it's full customization so it's going to be a lot of diversity which i mean i don't see what's the problem with that you know whatever anyway i don't feel like going to that i'm a gamer i like having a good time and saints Row looks like a good time so if you're feeling it let me know in the comments if you're not it's, it's all good i mean i respect it but uh yeah, and again, those who play Grand Theft Auto, let me know how you feel about Saints Row. Because, like I said, back in the day, it was always you like one or didn't like and didn't like the other. But I don't understand why. But thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see you.